Hi boys and girls. Our lesson today is on our numbers. And our last video that we had on number eight was our number eight book. So before we begin our next number, I'd like just to do a quick review of the numbers and the number words and also how to write some of these numbers. So we'll start, always start on the number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's pretty easy to recognize those numbers. But now I'm gonna see if we can match these red cards to the numbers. They're not gonna be in order, but I'm gonna read them to you the way they were taught in the song. It'll help you to match the number word, words use letters, to the number that's on the table. So boys and girls, the first one is F-O-U-R, that spells, if you said the number four, that's correct. Number four starts with the letter F. The next one, O-N-E, that spells, that's an easy one. It was our first number. If you said number one, you're correct. O and E, that spells one. This is one that we have, we made a book for this number. S-I-X, that spells, when you have this book at home, it's a good reminder to pull that out and practice. S-I-X, that spells six. If you chose the number six, that's correct. Next one, T-W-O, that spells, it's called when we have pairs and doubles, it's the number two. T-W-O, that spells two. The next one, that's a long one. There's a lot of letters in this number word. S-E-V-E-N spells, S-E-V-E-N spells seven. If you said number seven, that's correct. This was the clapping tapping number that we all love because a lot of us are this number in our group. F-I-V-E, that spells Five. If you said five, that's correct. So five starts with the letter F. F-I-V-E, that spells five. Now here's one we just recently had. E-I-G-H-T spells, there were birds in their nest. E-I-G-H-T spells eight. That's a tricky one. Eight begins with the letter E. Last one. T-H-R-E-E -E spells, I'm thinking of a shape with that many sides. T-H-R-E-E -E spells three. If you chose three, that's correct. So number one, two, these are the words three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So boys and girls, before we go on to our new number, I put a number chart up here for you. And I know some of you have been practicing. I've been receiving some worksheets from some of you that are practicing your numbers. So I'm just gonna go over just the first six numbers, just so you could be keep practicing them at home because practice makes perfect. So number one we know is easy and we learned this little rhyme to help us make the number run. One, start at the top and pull straight down. That's an easy one, number one. Keep them nice and straight and tall. Number two is a little bit trickier. Number two, we always start at the top. A little bit below the top, we curve around, slant down, and slide across. So again, curve around, 
slant down and slide across to make the number two. After number two, we do number three. And that's a little bit tricky as well. Number three, again, we always start at the top. We're gonna go around, curve around, stop, and curve around again. So you're curving, stop, curve around again. So now we have one, two, three. The next number I'm gonna to change to red, and number four is a little bit easier to make because the lines are straight, so we're not gonna do any curves. We're gonna start at the top, pull down to the fence, slide across, and go back up to the top again. And that's number four. The next number is number five. Starting at the top again, we put our pencil right at the top, pull down to the fence, Curve around and then wear your hat. Pull down, curve around, and wear your hat for number five. Number six was the tricky number. It's tricky because sometimes it could be magical. If you flip it to the other way, it could be the number nine, which we're gonna meet in a few minutes. But when we write number six, we think of a loop. So we're gonna curve, we're gonna start at the top, Curve around, down, and make a loop to make the number six. Boys and girls, you're gonna curve, make a loop at the fence, and close it up to make number six. So keep practicing because numbers are tricky and practice makes perfect. So now we're ready to meet our new number. And our new, I'm gonna move these out of our way. Our new number, is number nine. And boys and girls, we're gonna hear a song about the number nine, and then I'm gonna have some questions about that story. So we're gonna read about number nine. Life is perfect when you share time with a friend. There's always time for fun in the sun and playing with your best pals. You're my best pal. And you're my best pal, too. We'll have fun and be best pals always, okay? Sure. Best pals forever. In I-N-E, that spells nine. Number nine. of what the number six is. So when you write the number nine, you make the loop first. You make a loop and then you slant down. But if you turn the book around, you can turn it into the number six. We curve around and then loop around. So nine and six are tricky, but I don't think for this class, nine is gonna be easy. So boys and girls, I have a couple questions about the number nine that are in the back of the book I'm gonna ask you. How many players are on a baseball team? I think most of you know this from your t-ball days. Nine players on a baseball team, nine players. What number comes before the number nine? And counting, before number nine. Number eight. 
what number comes after number nine? And we already did that number with our N family because we were spelling T-E-N. That spells 10. So that would be our last number. We work from one to 10. After nine comes number 10. I have two tricky questions now for you. If Brian has five baseball cards and Kane has four baseball cards, how many baseball cards do they have in all, all together? So one boy has five and the next boy has four. So count those fingers, boys and girls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So if you add five baseball cards to four baseball cards, you'll get the number nine. Boys and girls, in the song is saying about having fun with your friends or your pals. And this class is unique in the fact that there are 10 boys and 10 girls. So your project for now, after watching this video, is try and think of the other nine girls in your class, if you're a girl. If you're a boy, try and name all the boys that you play with in your class. So there should be nine boys plus you, that would be 10. And if you're a girl, think of the girls and see if you can remember your friends' names. And hopefully pretty soon we'll be getting back together again to conclude this school year and we'll have a nice celebration. Bye for now.